Oh man, can't talk. What is going on you guys? So I got a really interesting video for you guys today. You know the trend where everyone goes to the worst rated place in their city and then checks it out? I just found the worst reviewed restaurant in my city and I'm gonna order food from it. I'm looking for the worst motel in my city. Take that one step further. I'm gonna go get my teeth cleaned at the worst rated dentist in my city, which happens to be Chicago right now. I'm home for the holidays and uh, yeah, so if you look around, we're in like a shopping mall. Um, yeah, like right by a Walmart, so it should be really interesting. All the reviews were super bad. Um, I'll read some of them to you when I get home. So yeah, we're looking at some of the reviews. I pulled up three one-star reviews here from October of this year, so pretty recent. One says, avoid at all costs. They don't respect their client's appointment times and will move your appointment without notice just so that they can overbook their time slots. Avoid this place. Another one from a year ago, the rooms are never clean, unprofessional. They try to move people into different rooms. Never again will I go back to this place. And another review says, long overdue, harping on somebody else, talking about the manager, and sarcastic comments like, oh, that she, she, she should be thanking the manager because instead of going to this place, she found somewhere better because of her. And she's like, oh, they're a big company. Who cares about one potential patient, right? So yeah, I mean, I have to make my own opinion on it based on my experience, but these are three negative reviews that led me to go here. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> yeah, let's check out this cleaning and uh, see if they find any other problems. Stay tuned. What were you saying? The last time I was here, the manager was confrontational and was not service oriented. Definitely no, there was no good customer service. So this receptionist is nice, but the manager um, treats us like a prison camp. So it's super early right now, that's why I'm like dead. Because they couldn't take me later in the day. So they're like actually all booked up which is really strange. So the inside of the place is actually very clean. Um, it's got like, uh, water, magazines, chairs. They're trying to get me to do an x-ray and uh, I don't know how I feel about that, so stay tuned. So the bathroom is super actually clean. You got products back there. They want you to throw everything away. Definitely top notch. Let's see what's in here. Man, they're cleaning windows out here. Oh, that Listerine though. Look at this. So we can definitely use the extras that he's already had. Yeah. Obviously, they're going to give us the same thing of whatever I just told you. They're going to tell us that he has. There's two small ones. So one of them is an abrasion filling, which means he's brushing too hard. The only other two that I see as big wise are on his left side, lower bottom, those two big molars. Those go to two surfaces. Okay, so update. They only booked me for a 30 minute time slot. And oh yeah, I got shot in the mouth. Um, 
with some kind of uh, numbing thing because they had to do a filler but they only booked me for a 30 minute time slot so I have to come back in an hour to get the other stuff worked on they found like like a receding gum down here and then like a small cavity on this side so yeah gotta go home now and come back in an hour hopefully this goes down by then so I can eat something but we'll see how are your teeth? come here come here so I just ate some lasagna, fed the dogs, gave them a treat, and we're gonna head back over to the dentist's office. Still can't feel the left side of my face. Feel my mouth. Oh man, can't talk. So I just got back from the dentist and as you can tell, I have had my entire lower mouth numbed. I'll check back in with you guys when I can actually speak. So here's a scoop guys, it's the next day. I can clearly talk again. And I just wanted to touch upon the experience that I had just really briefly, like I was in there, I was getting operated on, you saw all that, but I wanted to let you know that it was actually a good experience. Like, yeah, the title says the worst reviewed um, place on Yelp in my city for, for dentist work, but it was actually far from that. A lot of the reviews were like negative about the manager and stuff, and I never experienced the manager at all. So that would probably explain why I didn't have a negative experience. A lot of the reviews didn't even touch upon like the quality of like the work that they came there for. It was just a negative experience with the manager. And honestly, the work that I came there for was just a cleaning and like a cavity that I had. And it was perfect. Like I, it's the next day I can chew properly. Like I'm not able to like not eat. And they, they said, oh, if there's a problem and you come back, we can like fix your, your thing so you can chew better. Like something like that. Like they're trying to go out of their way to help so that was nice and plus they gave me a little goodie bag they gave me a couple uh you know toothpaste and a toothbrush and some floss so what's not to love about that and you know they, i was taking a selfie in there they jumped in the back like they were fun people like would definitely recommend so word to the wise don't you know a lot of people just solely go off of yelp like but that might not be the best thing like you might have missed out on, you know it's like i could probably go find a place on Yelp that has like four stars with you know 10 reviews or something and it would be a bad service whereas this has you know less stars but I thought the service was great so don't just take everything you see on Yelp for face value if you want to see other videos uh, like this where I go to the worst reviewed whatever in Chicago leave a comment down below where I should go and I'll try to make that happen I think it's pretty hilarious like all the videos I've been watching on YouTube where it's like they're going to the worst reviewed Mexican place and it's like a total dump <laughs> and I went to the worst dentist and it was actually a good experience. It's kind of ironic. Um, but yeah, leave a comment down below if you want to see me go somewhere else that you think would be funny and uh, see you guys next time.